it's time to talk to Carol. Very important to listen to Carol this morning. Always important to listen to Carol, of course. But today, it has been very cold overnight and there are travel problems as well. Carol, morning. Good morning, all. Well, it has been the coldest night off this winter so far. These are the kind of temperatures that we've had across parts of Scotland, Northern England, Wales, and also Northern Ireland, and they could drop yet. The other thing we have this morning is fog. There's some patchy freezing fog across parts of Scotland, Northern Ireland, Northern England, the Midlands, into East Anglia, and parts of the South. So that will be slow to clear. And then there's the widespread risk of ice on untreated surfaces. Now, later on in the day, this area of low pressure is coming our way. It's going to introduce strengthening winds, initially some rain and then some sleet and snow. And the snow could prove to be disruptive. But first thing, with all those low temperatures around damp surfaces, that is a recipe for ice if the area you're in hasn't been treated. Now, as we go through the day, for many of us, it is going to be dry. There'll be some sunshine. The fog will slowly lift for most. And then you can see the wind strengthening in the southwest. And we've got the first signs of some rain, followed by sleet and snow. And this is what could be disruptive. In the Channel Islands, you're more likely to have rain and sleet than snow. So if we zoom in to what is happening and where the likelihood of the snow is going to be and also the time this clock is changing, you can see how it comes in across the southwest, through Wales, in through the Midlands and down towards the southeast. It might miss Norfolk. And as we go through the evening, we could see some large totals falling. So to give you an idea of those, the highest numbers are what you can expect with height, but look at that, 10 centimetres in parts of Wales. And we're particularly talking parts of South East Wales and West Herefordshire as well. Three to seven as we push further south. On the actual south coast itself, you could well see a little bit of snow falling from Sussex to Kent. But at the other end, Hampshire and Dorset, it's more likely to be sleet or rain that you see right on the coast come inland. And it's a different story. Through the overnight hours, we still will have our weather front with us, but it will be starting to weaken, but there will still be snow coming out of it. Meanwhile, we'll have further snow showers across parts of northern England and also northern Scotland. And once again, with temperatures as low as this, where we've got all this dampness around, well, there's likely to be ice once again. So something to watch out for, as well as frost. Tomorrow morning then we start off with this weakening front, the snow in it tending to ease a touch, but it could well get down to southern counties of England as we go through the day. There is the risk of, once again, that mixture of rain, sleet and snow. Push north and you can see further wintry showers coming in across eastern areas, also in across the far north of Scotland. Tomorrow, no heat wave in prospect either. We're looking at temperatures roughly one to about five. And the weekend, well, we're not done with the snow just yet. Now get in, Charlie.